Hello, I'm Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to create quiz app. We are going to use lists in MIT App Inventor to create this app. So if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials and videos about creating mobile apps using MIT App Inventor. So you can check that out. And also if you have any idea, mobile app idea, you can comment it. And remember to subscribe. So first we are going to put a background image for the quiz app. Now let me click on screen one and the background image is going to be a gradient. So here you can see the blue color gradient. Next we are going to bring in a label and then let's change the text of this label to be quiz. Now we are going to make the font to be bold and then the font size should be 35. Let's bring this label to be at the middle of the screen. So align horizontal should be centered. Now you can see that this label came to the middle of the screen. Next we are going to bring another label and in this label which is label 2 the question will be visible the questions of the quiz. So first we are going to increase the font size to be 25 and then let's erase all the text from this label because we will write the text in the block section when we are deciding the questions. Next we are going to give a spacing between this label and then label 2 in which the question will be visible. So to give a spacing I am going to bring in a label. It should be at the middle of this label and then label 2. Now let's erase all the text from this label label 3. Now we are going to put the height of this label 3 to be 30%. Now you can see that the label 2 came at the middle of the screen because we have the label 3 has occupied 30% of the screen. Now in this label 2 we are going to show the question. So let's rename this label 2 so that we can understand better in the block section. I'm going to rename it to be question. So here the question is going to be visible. Now I have renamed it. Next we are going to bring in a text box. So in this text box they will type the answer. So first they will see the question in this label and then they will type the answer in text box 1. Next let's bring a, a button. Let's change the text of the button to be submit. So after they attempt a question, after they write the answer in this question, they will click on this button to submit the question and then it will show if whether it is correct or wrong. Now let's make the font to be bold and then the font size should be 20. Now I'm going to put the background color of this to be orange. Now we are going to bring another button. So let's just duplicate this button 2. Now in this button let's change the text to be next. So after they submit a question then they will click on this button button 2 to go to the next question. Now we are going to let's go to layout and from here we are going to bring horizontal arrangement. Let's put the width of this to be fill parent. Now inside this horizontal arrangement we are going to put the submit button and then the next button. Now we are going to bring both of these buttons to be at the middle. So let's click on the horizontal arrangement and here I am going to put align horizontal to be center. Now you can see that both of the buttons came to the middle. Now let's go to the user interface and from here we are going to bring in two labels. So in the first label which is label 4 we are going to put the text to be correct. And in the this label in label 5 the text is going to be wrong. Now if they attempt the question correctly if the answer is correct then this label will be visible. And if the answer is wrong, which they have typed in this text box, this label will be visible, the wrong label. Now let's increase the, let's make the font to be bold for both of them. Let's increase the font size to be 25. And then I'm going to put the text color of this to be green. Now let's do the same thing for wrong. I'm going to increase the font size to be 25. And then the text color is going to be red. Now we have finished making both of these labels. Let's rename them so that will be we can understand it better in the block section. So I'm going to rename this correct. 
and label 5 which is the wrong label should be renamed wrong I uh, let me rename it again because the spelling is wrong yeah now it's correct wrong so now we have renamed both the labels we are going to make this we are going to make this invisible because it should be visible only after they click on the submit button now let's click on this text box in which they will type the answer of the question and let's change the hint to be answer now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create three variables so let's bring this initialize global name to this vari this block and let's rename the variable to be question list so here we are going to put all the questions in a list so to put a list let's go to we are going to bring this block make a list and now here we are going to put all the list of questions so i'm going to put only three questions in this tutorial but you can put how much ever you want so if you are going to put three questions then you need three items like this now you can see that here you can put the three questions now let me go to text and let me start typing the first question so i'm going to do a quiz on the solar system and the planets so i'm going to the first question is going to be what is the largest planet in the solar system like that i'm going to do three questions so now you can see that i have finished typing the three questions now we are going to create another variable so let's just duplicate this variable and let's change the name of this to be answer list so here we are going to type the answers for each question so for the first question what is the largest planet in the solar system the answer is jupiter so let me type it here and then for the second question it is mercury the third question answer is eight there are eight planets now we have finished making the question list in which there are the questions and then the answer list in which there are the answers for each questions next we are going to create another variable the name of this variable is going to be question number question number so here we are going to find the question number we so at the start of the quiz the question number is going to be one as as the default so now let's we are going to bring when screen one is initializing which means that the app is opening we are going we are going to show the first question so we will show it in this label the question label so here we have set question dot text to to show the question we are going to bring it from this list questions list so we are going to show the first question which is this question so to do that let's go to lists and here we have select list item so the list is going to be the question list because it should pick out the questions and it should show the questions in this label and then the index is going to be question number so if the question number is 1 then it will find index 1 so this is the index 1 so the first question is what is the largest planet in the solar system so it will show this question in this label question label next we are going to bring in when button 1 is clicked so button 1 is the submit button this button so after they type their answer in this text box they will click on this button to submit and then it should show whether it is correct or wrong so we are going to use these labels here we are going to use an if condition if and else condition so first we are going to see if the text box one dot text is equal to the answer so to do that let's go to math and here we have the equal to operator so let's go to text box one and here we have text box one dot text so the answer which they have typed in text box is equal to the correct answer so how can we find the correct answer 
we have saved the answers in this list so we are going to use this list to find the correct answer let's duplicate this so it will select the list item from the list now the list is going to be the answer list and then the index is going to be question number so in the answer list now the question number is one so in the answer list it will find the first index which is jupiter so if the answer is jupiter then it should show correct in the label so here we have the correct label so set correct dot text to here i'm going to put it to be i think we should put correct dot visible so we are going to make this visible now currently it's invisible but we will make it visible only if the answer is correct so set correct dot visible to true so here we have the true block and then if it is wrong then we are going to set wrong dot visible to true so that the wrong label will be visible next if they click next we are going to bring we are going to disable the submit button once they have submitted once they click the submit button so to do that let's go to button one and here we have set button one dot enabled to so currently it's enabled but after they click the submit button they should only click it one time so we are going to disable it after they click it one time so here we have false so it will not be enabled when button 2 which is the next button this button is clicked we are going we are going to show the next question to the user so to show the next question first we are going to make both of these labels to be invisible the correct and the long wrong label so let's duplicate and let's put visible to be false next now we are going to put uh, when they click the next question we are going to do the same thing as we did in screen one dot initialize it should show the next question but we need to increment this variable the question number variable so let's go to here we have set this block set question number two we are going to increment it we will add one so now currently it's question number one when they click on the next button we will add one to the this variable so that it becomes two so that the question number two which is this question will be visible in the label so now let's put set question number two here we have the addition operator we are going to add one we will get the question number and then plus one so that it will get incremented and then the next question will be visible after this we are going to enable this button one for so here you can see when they click the submit button we will disable the submit button because they should not click two times but after they move on to the next question we need to enable it again so that they can submit the question so here we we are going to set this to be true now we have finished finish the quiz app almost there is one more thing which is left we are going to add the score so if they do a correct question then one score will be added for that so for that we are going to bring in a label so first we are going to make this correct and wrong to be visible so that we can bring this label to be at the under below of both of these labels now let's make them invisible Now let's change that let's we are going to increase the font size of this to be 25 and let's make the font to be bold so here we are going to show the score let's erase all the text from this label now let's go to the block section and now we are going to create a new variable let's change the text of the variable to be score the name of the variable and let's set it to be zero at the start of the quiz next we are going to add this we are going to increment this score by one for every correct answer so let's set here we are if the answer is correct here we have put an if condition we are going to increase it by one so let's bring in the addition operator so we will set the score to be 
it will get the value of the score and then add one to it now let me bring this down so that we have more space yeah now we will increment it by one when the answer is correct and then we'll will not do anything when the answer is wrong next here we are going to put an if condition so if and else condition so we will check if all the three questions are over after all the three questions are over we are going to show the score to the user so if we are going to put an equal to operator if the score no the question number if the question number is equal to 3 let me put this in so if the, if the question number is equal to number 3 then all the three questions are over and it needs to show the score for the user so we are going to show the score in here so let's here we have label 4 so set label 4 dot text so label 4 is the label which we have made to show the score we will get the score and then we will show it in label 4 in this else block we are going to put all these things now let's go to the text and we are going to join two blocks here the first block is going to be the the second block is going to be the score it will get the score way the value from the score variable and it will show it and then in the first string we are going to put it to be score and then let's put a colon and then a space now let's test the app and see how it is working so here you can see the quiz app it shows the first question what is the largest planet in the solar system the answer is jupiter so let me put the correct answer and let me submit it after I submit you can see that it shows correct and then I, the submit button is disabled. I can't click it. Now let me click on next and you can see that the next question is visible. Now let me put the answer. What is the smallest planet in the solar system? I'm going to put a wrong answer this time. So let me put it to be Saturn. The correct answer is Mercury but I'm going to put Saturn and let me submit. You can see that it shows wrong. Now let me go to next, the next question, third question. How many planets are there in the solar system? The answer is 8. So this time I'm going to put it to be correct. You can see that it shows correct. Next. And you can see that it shows the score which is 2 because I have answered 2 questions correctly out of the 3 questions. So you can add more questions. In this tutorial we, are, we have learned about list in MIT App Inventor while we were creating this quiz app. So I have also created another tutorial in which you can create a to-do list app using MIT App Inventor. So the link for this video is in the description below. You can check that out. So do you want to create more mobile apps like this? I have put many tutorials on creating apps using MIT App Inventor in my channel. So you can check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you.